There we are. In Jewsbury. So let's have a look round. Used to be the old McDonald's there. A big discount store. Yeah. Wow. Well, I want to take you around Jewsbury. And yeah, it's good and bad in every. <laughs> I wouldn't start singing then. <laughs> it's good and bad. No. It's good and bad in every place, and we know that. And, I've done the good, I've done a lot of good. There's a lot of good. There's a church over there. Fantastic church. The Bronte father used to work in. This is the arcade. The, the shopping centre, it's actually. It's still called Princess of Wales Shopping Centre. They've never, they never changed. <laughs> it was the Asman Centre. Still called Princess of Wales Precinct. Still called that. Um, Greenwood's there, which I've done a whole video on. They've got a nice little museum upstairs. It's absolutely brilliant. The oldest shop in Dewsbury. Still going. Um, done down there. I've done that where Caddy's used to be down there. I'm driving like that. Hodgson's up there. This is Daisy Hill, which I'm going to take you up now. It's just Kirkley's enforcement vehicle there. Don't know what he's enforcing, but <laughs> not doing a good job. <sighs> That's called Wellington Tavern now. Yeah. So here, yeah, this this actually used to be used to be a pub here. Um, this now is a Great Two listed building. Um, Look at the architecture, don't look at the, the dystopian shop fronts. Look at the architecture. And this is a great two listed building, so they can't do all that with this now. Which is good, there's, some, there's always some uh, trainers hung up. So yeah, there's some work going on up here. Everything's shut down. It's more residential and retail these days. Unfortunately, so quite busy. I've got the couple streets. Here's, that used to be Austin's a department store. I used to get my Star Wars figures. Used to be, it's all residential now. So we'll go up there later on. I don't want to talk about this building here. There are. Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the buildings. A lot of buildings have been turned into great two list of buildings in Jewsbury. So we're going to talk a bit about that. Oh look at the look at the stonework. Absolutely amazing. Look at the windows. Absolutely fantastic. And the foot the are putting millions of pounds. Look at look at the lighting. Look at the lighting there. It's just, it just it could be so much better. But we're gonna go up Union Street now, which is a big historic street <laughs> you wouldn't know by the photo model center now that used to be one hell of a shop it was on the corner here yeah so take your cameras in there get your photos developed in there sell models obviously model center there the old sandwich sandwich shop here this here was um, the very first caddies ice cream place it's, it's a fish and chip shop. It's been a really good fish and chip for, for so long, but it's shut down, unfortunately. So this is empty. 
this is now empty but there's a picture of John Calamardry stood there in that, in that shop but this used to be Spectrum it, it does break me out a bit it used to be a nice sports shop down there where the spec servers is but this used to be all spectrum now we used to come in we used to go into there on a Saturday remember mate from school we used to go in there there wasn't a lot of stuff we really liked it was just a nice shop and it was lovely it smelled lovely and there was posters in there so we did go in and it was it was one of those shops that you went you had to go in and I look at look at the how <laughs> look at the building work now how much that is sagging I look at the top there I wonder if there's some dad people actually living in there and they've got uh, CCTV up there but yeah so my building work down there that's Patrick it's a shame that they put it somewhere where you can't see it because of the cars this is the bin lid I used to go um, it was an arcade, it used to go after school to play on Star Wars, Tron, all the new arcade machines. It was also a nightclub as well. Also used to be a nightclub before the bin lid. So this has been erected, so I wonder what's going on here. Because I know there seems to be some work going on. But that there is the back of the old cinema I've done um, I've flown a drone over there so I might put that in as well so they don't seem to be working on something over there but as you can see there's just nothing left to the cinema there's a frontage and that's all that's all that's there obviously all this all this was the the cinema we used to sneak in the back. <laughs> the old club. I think that was a conservative club. Maybe wrong. But here was used to be and again I've done a video on this. Used to be a Royal Mail sorting office and then it turned into a doll factory during the war. And I've done the whole story about um we, we, we imported a lot of German toys and dolls and things like that and then obviously being at war we couldn't import it with them so then we it was encouraged to start making their own dolls the government encouraged people and the, the people that, that did it I've done the whole video you can check that out uh, the company that did it were actually hairdressers so they had the hair to make into put on the dolls heads so, you know, it's just, it's just amazing. And this is uh, Bond Street. That leads up to the, just about to see the, uh, the station up there. But we'll go down. I'll tell you what, we, we do normally go down there. But I'm going to go up here. We'll go look at the court building. The cloth quarter look. This is still Union Street, all this is Union Street. And it was a big, probably the biggest area. So then, there's all, look, there's all obviously, there's the big, this is what Judge was based on Shoddy and Mungo, Creative Craft Centre. Look at that, that's pretty cool. There's work going on everywhere. There is money going into the place, but I think it's going in the wrong place. Look at this. Look at this. So I am... I'm not trying to show you the bad areas. I'm going to try, try and show you the good and the bad. It's... The architecture is just unbelievable. And that is why we're getting... I said we, I am from Dewsbury, um, that is why 
the money's actually coming in to do the to renovate but as I say I think it's going in the wrong places the people who are making the decisions are making the wrong decisions um, if you saw my Markham video I did say that we need to get the markets back up and running so I'm going to walk up, up here this is the co-op building we'll get a, a shot of it when I get on the other side of the road but uh, there we go pioneers central stores so it was it was a co-op and then it was a cinema there was a cinema in there and then I used to go into the there's a stair still in there look I mean, look at that I don't know if you can see that because of the reflection but used to go upstairs there used to be a lift as well here used to go up look at the decorative wall so used to go up there up to the cinema but also um, the, the snooker club was on the top floor so it's now um, creating an opportunity saving lives it's actually something to do with the uh, the college now <laughs> Angus showrooms there was was the gas showrooms it's actually called it's still called the showroom which is pretty good it's a lovely building all the buildings just are really nice and a lot have been pulled down and that's probably why we're getting a lot of the great tourist buildings so they cannot pull them down unfortunately with the great tourist buildings you have the catch-22 where you can't actually do anything with them I've done a video on the library which um, it just sat there the, the building is absolutely fantastic the insides are alright I've always thought they should put the library back where it where it was that would that one decision would maybe turn things around I don't know it's a start, it'd be a start. It's like on the forums I see so much negativity. And it's 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 obvious. There's the train line to Leeds. I just feel to Leeds train line. And the station up there. I'll wait here because we've got a police car coming and nobody's moving. Look at that, nobody moving. That's a way. Jesus. Cheers. There we go. Nice gimbal. Oh, thank you. I'm using my little camera at I am going to do a mixture of uh, my proper gimbal. So, I actually got a tattoo in there. Um, I remember I was working nights and on the way home I got knocked off my bike and my, off my scooter. And I had the tattoo booked. So I went in, I actually fainted because I was still in shock from the, the accident. But, you know, when you pay your money, you still got, <laughs> you still got to go get it, haven't you? Um, we were going to uh, where people get their stuff to sell here, but... Oh, look at that. 1,299. That's pretty cool. I do want electric. An electric uh, bike. So yeah, there's a flyover. Uh, it used to be a theatre, a bingo house, cinema here as well. Also been knocked down. And as the ring road was built, it was, all this has totally changed. Like the mills, as I say, the where the money came from, Jewsbury, and why it made Jewsbury such a big place is the. There we go, <laughs> Shoddy and Mungo manufacturers. The mills. This used to be the railway. The railway hotel. Sunday nights used to be a fantastic night in there. So you're going to, that's Batley down there. 
Bradford Road goes down to the frontier or the Battle Variety Club maybe that's something I need to do a Battle Variety Club video that would be quite a, quite a good video to do so there's the market there's the cloth hall mills established or is it AD 1874 well I'll go have a look at that but there's the, there's the co-op building it's Kirklees College now there it is all its glory beautiful well not all its glory because you can't see half of it but that we had, we've had. we got two clock towers we've got the, the co-op one and we've got the town hall um, I think I've done a video on the town hall probably <laughs> but yeah this this is a railway to me a railway hotel and oh look, cloth we've got a blue plaque Judge we matters blue plaque uh, the Mitchell Busters moved their shoddy and mongo business from Bradford Road to Cloth Hall Mills in 1874 so they were actually doing it before uh, maybe do, do I might do a whole video on the uh, shoddy and mongo Portraits bus. Let me know what you want me to do. Um, portraits of bus of Robert Fletcher and Matchell. Matchell, you see, not not Bob Mitchell. Matchell and his brother William, together with Cobden and Disraeli, had on the office frontage. William was mayor of Dewsbury, 1880 to 1882. So I don't know who, but uh, look at that. These fantastic stone. Well, look at that. And oops, somebody's had a nose job. Is that Disraeli? I think that's Disraeli. I could be wrong. I know it's a history channel, but I don't need to do research. The sandstone, look at that. That needs. I mean, look, the background of it's a bit shoddy, and that does need sorting out. But uh, yes, shoddy and mongo. Uh, the, probably the greenest that it's been called the greenest town <laughs> so in the 1800s um, recycled old cloth into new clothing so it was shoddy it was all stuff that got thrown away shoddy clothing so they call it shoddy that's why you get the name shoddy and mungo um, I don't know where Mungo come from. I might be two, two, two names. I'm going to look into it. We'll do a whole video on that. And that was Kiddie's Kingdom. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't think it's still over. I think it's just flats now. But yeah, they've still got the Kiddie Kingdom sign up there as well. And it's still got the opening times. I wonder if it's, it seems that there are some things in there. So I don't know what's happening there. Uh, due to the location, that to let me split. What if that's... Uh, yeah. That's interesting. So yeah, the, these are needs a private residences now so there's a lot of residences but uh, uh, it's on the edge of the market you see this oh, they're trying to do the best with the market they were supposed to renovate it that got put on hold because if you know what they, they <coughs> and um, there is a story that they've still got the the units the um, container units sitting just my Mac is not closing we are not closing honest um, the container units are still sitting there which they're going to renovate this and put the the store holders into container units but the container units are just sat there now the container units are worth a fortune worth I'm going to go this way the container units are worth they've, they've they went up for like 2 grand to like 25 grand or 30 grand during and after the big China crisis and look at that just the mills all around here and we've done, I've done up there because we did the uh, Jewsbury rock the lettering in, in rock that you get seaside was actually invented in Jewsbury you can see this is Thursday nice day quite nice day no market 
this is what gets me right um, we've talked about the the all the t I think it's 25 million pound they've put into the arcade and I want to look at the arcade I wonder if we can go and talk to somebody about the arcade but um, they want to sort this out first this is going to get small businesses in before the arcade nobody can afford one of those little units in the arcade nobody can do it but I need to find out how much one of these stores costs for the day or like on a permanent basis because if they're, pay if they're paying so much a month for one of these stalls surely they want to be here every day there's there's a station or hotel yes we've got the railway hotel oh, little little uh, residences mental health suicide prevention that's pretty cool uh, yeah you can tell where there was a, there was a road there this obviously the built on because of the the um, ring road it was a railway this is a railway station I've re I have done a video on that you probably hopefully you've seen that but we got obviously the station hotel next to the station that was a station used to go in there got the steps the station platform was on the top I've been I've been up on that wall and shown all that we've talked about this we've got the drone up and we've done everything about that so you can check that out but uh, it's it, it's just that used to be the railway obviously now it's a now it's a ring road so we've got the car parking up there there's a big car park there's nobody in it you, see, you might just be able to see there's nobody in the car park I'm not sure what the price is for the car park I'm not I'm, I don't know we've got the car parking down here people tend to park in the centre but it's cheap enough to park up there walk right now walk down but the thing is what I want to talk about as well is how I got here today. I'm co I'm come from Marley. I've got a 213 outside my house. Every hour until 2.30. 30. On the way back, the last bus on the way back is 2.30 and 4.30. Now, when there's a school day, there's no 3.30. So... I have to get the 2.30 or the 4.30 and that's it obviously the shop's shut at 5, 5.30 officially 5.30 but you know they're shut early um, Tuesdays used to, be, used to be after I don't think that really matters anymore I don't think I'm going to do that but here goes a bus but um, the only two buses I can get direct from all here 2 or 5 which I have to walk quite a distance from which is fine I'll go this way so we can get, we'll go look at the, the town hall it's fine but then the 213 doesn't work it doesn't run on a weekend it just runs during the week we'll go shut down look other one shut down that used to be a theatre as well that's another theatre building go um, to show what, when, what time the 205 stops but that's early as well that does run on a weekend I don't know if it runs on a Sunday I don't think it runs on a Saturday so to get people into Dewsbury you need to lay on the transport so what I was saying about when I was in Markham I was saying about um, people don't go to the local areas anymore they've got cars they go to shopping centres they go to out of town um, malls shopping malls all this other better cities like Leeds and you get the bus you can get the bus easier to Leeds and you can get to Dewsbury so that needs looking at if I was in charge which I'm not going to be I don't want to be but I'd like to advise there's the old Barclays building beautiful building that's been there I think that's, that's been there longer than the, the town hall there's a that was, that was used to be the market called marketplace used to have the market in there used to buy 
it's all pedestrianised now but all these used to be roads used to be a roundabout here used to be a roundabout over there there's the arcade we'll go look at that there's the what we saw the back end of the cinema over there there's a town hall beautiful town hall there's Long Causeway which they're on about ripping up for some reason so we can get across the road um, there, them buildings there used to be railway it used to be our railways so railway used to come in this way over there where that bridge is it's obviously got the railway from Huddersfield to Leeds on the top but we had like a good yard here that used to go up to Thornhill the, uh, the railway used to go up to Osset up there those eating to Osset and this this is a pioneer this is Empire House um, but it used to be a theatre and they ripped it down and built this monstrosity horrible horrible thing but it used to be a theatre unbelievable uh, a lot of famous people actually came to that theatre a lot of famous people so this is obviously the the town hall we'll go around the back of the town hall there's the old post office I've done a video on that another great two listed I think it's great two listed I'm going to go into that this is an art article about the great two listings but uh, yeah that's been burnt I the windows upstairs open because, because of the damage inside but I mean, look at it again I pretend they're drawn up done a video on that town hall where yeah the I still haven't found <laughs> some of the schemes keep telling me that there is sight of the tunnel you can actually see the tunnel I think it's over there somewhere I need somebody to show me where it is because I cannot find it I cannot find it so this this road this ring road this is a ring road that they put in in the 80s I see the road used to go up it used to come up here actually up Wakefield Road Old Bank Old Bank Road on the cutting up to uh, LZ and Hossett Wakefield and then there's Leeds Road over there obviously going up to Leeds but uh, this this has been used by a lot of um, a lot of film companies Surprised there's nobody filming there at the moment. Inside, um, Question Time music quite a bit. Um, court dramas, things like that. Um, Emma Dale's been here recently, filming outside. It would have been nice for me to be here when there was someone filming going on. I, need, I could do with somebody on the inside telling me when the, <laughs> when the film's going on. Well, yeah, I don't know if these are they're the same buildings. I don't think so because of the bricks. But obviously the, the track used to come in here, and this was the old railway yards. If I do ever do a part two, I might go over to that side. I've done. I have done. I have followed the road round. It's all retail units now. But uh, I have done. I have been inside the the town. Oh, we're not going to go inside. We're just talking about about Jewsbury and what we can do to help it. Really, today, what I think. So, if I made a five-point plan, <laughs> one one I built there is the market. Sort the market out. Get people in there. I'm going to go up to the arcade now, we can talk about the arcade. arcade. I don't think there's anybody in the arcade that we can talk to, unfortunately. But, it is, it, if you look at it, if you just look at it and look at the buildings and the good bits, it could be so much more. But yeah, five points, well I've got two so far. 
um, the bus system, getting people in on the buses. Not everybody's got cars. Most people in Jewelry don't have cars, I would have thought. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see the stats on that. I don't have a car. I get the bus everywhere. And when it's hard to get the bus, this is, this is not a lot to come into Jewelry before. I'm here today to do this film and to go to Cosmic Toys. So this is the arcade that they've put £25 million into when you've got so many empty shops already so you're going to have a, a, an arcade of empty I think it's £300 a month they're wanting so small businesses are not going to go in there and big 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 businesses are going to go in there because they're small units so not rocket science is it so that's what it used to look like obviously yeah like I said there's there was a road here that's what it used to look like when it was busy so obviously we've got the road either side all those flowers look at that how nice were that the history of 23 marketplace so there's if you want to have a have a squint arcade jewsbury.org um jmb still need to do that video on jmb so JMB's was actually here as well. Oh, it was called it was called Jubes, but Jubes is not JMB. It's not the same. It's not the same. And I think that uh, three narrow shots were demolished. So those three were demolished. That was demolished to get this arcade. And now this does not. I would like to. I would like. I'm um, think when well, next time we come down, I'm going to have to see if we can actually get in there. See if there's, if there's anybody in the shop. And this, you know what I mean? There's actually nothing in there. We can. You can. You can actually see inside, and there's not a lot going on in there. There's nothing going on in there. I'm going to walk round to the side. Yeah. Um, yo, yeah, we'll walk this way. I mean, I don't know. The other one's it's shut down. It's shut down as it's opening. I used to work in there. I used to, it used to be an optician, so I used to work in there. <laughs> that was a long time ago. See, that's been boarded up. I don't know why. But, yeah. Hopefully, it's opening up or is it shutting down? I don't know. There we go. People will know that. If you're running around here, you know what this is. The black ball. It's still going. Look at the gargoyles. <laughs> no, not a pub I used to frequent that often, to be honest with you. I didn't tend to stay in the town centre that much. It was like the outskirts, like Rose and Crown, and Aitlands. Going up that way to the Bath Hotel, down to, down to the frontier. That used to be Marks and Spencer's. That used to be. What was? Yeah, we've done a whole video on that. Kirkley's workers working hard up. <laughs> yeah, it's just. I mean, look. I know it's Thursday, but it should be heaving. <laughs> you, t you see these old pictures. Not from not so long, what, 20 years ago? Definitely 30 years ago. It'd have been heaving down here. Everything in the, the market would have been open. Every day. If you go to the market still, you want to you want to sell stuff, you want to make some money. That's that's the building I did film before. It's simply the uh, the doll factory. It used to be the doll factory. It was a hairdresser's and then turned it into a doll factory during the war I think that was the that was a, one of these shops could have been that one I think I think it was that one it was a toy shop definitely a toy shop look at this so this used to be a video shop 
It's just a bit video shop. We still love it. There's nothing in there. I can remember that video shop. Oh, wow. So, checks uh, cashed here. Yeah, Western Union. Yeah, we know what that is. We can't see. There's no gaps in there. I don't think. Oh, there's a bit of a gap. I don't know if you can see down there, but yeah, it's just nothing. There's just not. It looks nice enough as it is. This needs a bit of tightening up. <laughs> it looks okay. What's going on with it? Where's that 25 million gone? This is JMB's. This used to be JMB's. I know I've, talk, I've talked about that before. But let's cross over so you can uh, get a good look. So, yeah, arcade. Obviously, from the other side to this side. The arcade. This, it's been, this scaffold's been up for weeks, months maybe. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happened since I've been filming it and I don't know. So that is JMB's. I could, I want to go in there. I want to see if anybody knows anybody that owns that building or the estate agent that's, uh, it's not for sale or anything. It's just, there's no signs up saying it for sale. That's the thing. That's the thing. There's so many empty shops around here. But there's no for sale signs, tellite signs. Since um so all money shops, so all this all this here, all this was JMBs. All of it was JMBs. And it doesn't look massive, it doesn't look massive for really. But there was a cafe upstairs. I will do a full full video. They did move it up, up to that side. I know it's been that side, so I think it's from that shop to maybe that shop. Again, we've got pictures. You can put pictures up, but that will never get back to that. I mean, how cow heaving is, but as I was saying, that's probably Thursday. We'll say that's a Thursday. Look. There we go. Cosmic Toy. It's the only reason I come to Dewsbury. If you've seen my toy channel, you know why. And I film it regularly. There you go. There used to be a cafe in a bus station. It used to be like a little bakery and a cafe. Just empty. This would be John Menzers. He used to come in before I work every morning, get my first down, my smash hits or whatever I was getting those days. And I think they are doing something with the, with the bus station. Like everything. <laughs> but this is totally different from what it used to be like.